Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. Now, if you're not a member of my blog, you may want to go over there and do this. Uh, please sign up. I'll never sell your information. Your information is safe with me. All that's for is as I post new and exciting topics on Jack's Tech Corner, uh, you will receive a notification and you will have that information right at your fingertips. Uh, it's free. So go ahead and sign up for You can sign up for a, a, a free subscription. Uh, for Jack's Tech Corner, or by all means, you can sign up and uh, go in and pay a membership, small membership fee and get featured content. Today, as sh I'm sure the title gave it away, we are talking about Windows Split Screen. Now, this is Windows 11, and I tell you what, I've been having a good time with it. You may love it, you may hate it, but you know I'm kind of embracing it, and, I, and being I teach computers every day, I'm kind of getting my students to embrace it also as the new operating system. So the way Windows split screen works is really interesting. What we can do is this is our, obviously, uh, Google Chrome browser. All you got to do is when you grab a window and pull it up to the top of your screen, you're going to come up with these options here where you can actually split your screen in different quadrants. We can do an exact side by side. You can do a little bit more on the left, a little bit uh, less on the right. We could do a split screen to the left and have two programs on the right, or we can have four programs around, or we see here, around our screen. So this is a very nice, uh, I really like this feature because I do this a lot either when I'm writing papers, when I'm writing code. I use this a lot of times because I like to put two programs side by side. Let's go ahead and take a look at a side by side view. So we'll go over here to the very first one and we'll just drop this window there. You see immediately what happens is all my other windows, the programs that are open and minimized come up and gives me the option to open those programs. You can see here where I got my Evernote for my uh, notes that I keep. Uh, the VS Code window is here uh, that I've been writing some Python code. We have a, uh, it looks like a command prompt here, uh, dbeaver here doing some database work, a file manager and my GitHub desktop. So let's go ahead and we're gonna open up VS Code on this side. So now you see where it's perfect side-by-side -side applications here. And let's just say, for instance, right now, if I'm looking up a note, so I say, okay, <clears throat> now, so I have my uh, screen up over here, and I like to use the Google Chrome, again, just simply for, if nothing else, for like Stack Overflow. So we look up stuff in Stack Overflow all the time, right? We all do it. We all look for stuff in here, and uh, we may look for some uh, Python Uh, maybe some Python information, and uh, says, yeah, I'm not a robot. Okay, we know that. So so here's some Python information we may be using as we're writing our code over here on the right. Now, let's say, for instance, we say, well, now we need uh, our Evernote open. So we're going to open our Evernote here, and I'm going to pull it to the top of my screen. But now I'm going to say, well, I'm going to make it side by side here with, with my uh, code window. And I'm just going to pull it over a little bit just to uh, resize it. And uh, it's just. So there we go. And we'll just grab this screen then. And we'll put it on the bottom right here. All right. And we'll open back up our code window over here and our Evernote right here. And you can see at times you may have to resize some of your windows just a little bit uh, to move them back and forth. Uh, there we go. Just to get everything uh, kind of straightened up there. So, so that may be a flaw. I don't know. But anyway, it's a very, very nice feature to allow you to very easily work um, with, you know, as I said, coding, taking notes. I also use it for college classes uh, when I'm writing a paper. And on the other side, you know, I want to keep my notes open maybe and write my college paper. I can do that very easily with uh, with side by side views here. So it is a great feature. It's called Windows Split Screen. And I think you're going to really, really like it. Uh, there is ways to uh, or applications you can use the split screens in Windows 10. But this is built into Windows 11 and I think it makes it one of those nice features that Microsoft is working on to give us a little bit more usability 
with our computer screens. And naturally, the bigger the screen, you know, if you have a, a 40, uh, 42 inch wide screen monitor, and uh, this would be excellent because you can just throw your stuff up there and be able to keep working all day long. So folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video content. If you want the window to go back full screen, just hit the full screen button. Uh, again, please remember to, uh, let me go back down here. I probably could just go back here. Let's see. Uh, let's go back here. I'll go back again. And one more time. So again, you want to check this out, jackstechcorner.com. I used to write for a newspaper and no longer write for the paper, so I started Tech Columns. I write Usually I try to write once a week. I try to give you something new and exciting to think about, something new and exciting to look at, and uh, just some good reading if you, if you uh, enjoy that type of stuff. So, all right. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, remember, keep working, keep computing, and I'll see you back here soon on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now, everybody.